They say the NFL draft is wild for a lot of reasons. And last night watching and live streaming the first round of the uh, 2022 NFL draft, there was a lot of things that I was like, okay, you know, I get it. Javon Walker going, you know, we came out with our, our biggest surprises from the draft as well. But there is also a couple of other things we need to take into consideration here. It's also the fact that the Raiders are in a position where they could have some quality players or a quality player fall to them at 86. Now, again, I know there's a lot that goes into this draft. There's a lot that goes into a lot of the research, but let's just take this into consideration. Right now, on the board, you got you got all the right tackles that you want. You've got a lot of major d interior defensive linemen that you want. Uh, Perrion Winfrey, Travis Jones, uh, you know, uh, Daniel Falele is still there. I mean, there's and, – and the thing about it is, and this is evident by, you know, the first pick, uh, Trevon Walker, when he went to the Jaguars, we were like, okay, you know, that, that pick is kind of, you know, it's a little bit of a shocker. Not, not really because even though it kind of gained some steam towards the end of the draft uh, or to coming towards the draft, excuse me, you're like, okay, that's gaining a little bit of steam. I can see it. So Trevon Walker went. What did that do? That pushed Aiden Hutchinson down to the Lions. Okay, what did that do? That pushed, uh, you know, Derek Stingley Jr. down to the Texans. So it really is a game of, okay, what does this pick do? What is this next pick going to potentially do for the draft? And, I mean, we saw it with even picks. I think we mentioned, like, the New England Patriots with Cole Strange. I mean, I like Cole Strange, but I didn't think he was worth a first-round pick. I mean, obviously, the Patriots know something we don't. But, but, man, I really felt like this was one of those situations where I'm like, okay, um, this needs to be a, uh, you know, and I also betting on a smaller school guy to be able to come in in the first round was something, but that just pushes another guy down the board that you're like, okay, all right, I see the value here. So, and but by the way, the Raiders are coming in with not a lot of needs anyway, maybe right tackle, some interior defensive line help. Um, other than that, maybe another wide receiver, uh, you know, a third wide receiver to bring in competition for guys like, oh, what is it, Tyrone Johnson and, and Brian Edwards or Tryon Johnson, whatever. Um, I think at the end of the day, there was not a lot of needs, but if you can get into the third round where a lot of these top players still continue to fall, and you've got a guy like Perrion Winfrey or a guy like Daniel Falele or a guy like Abram Lucas or any of those guys to fall. You love how that shapes out for your board. I still think there's a lot that could happen. I still think that uh, obviously we're going to go through the second and third rounds of the draft today, and I'm excited. I think, you know, when you take a look at all the different things that could go on, uh, you got to be excited about the draft. you got to be excited about your respective team. And uh, there's a lot of teams out here that are in good positions. And the Raiders, I think, are one of them at 86. Plus, I mean, could they get back up into the second to get guys they want? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, they're at 86 right now. Uh, and with what we've seen in the, from the first round of the draft, there's still some things that could go on and make this a lot of fun. And we'll come back, you know, later, uh, you know, over the next couple of days, great drafts and all that. And we'll take a look at all this. But right now, as it stands, the quality players are falling. That's just how the draft goes. The question is, will the Raiders take advantage? Will they take the guys that they need and that could fill immediate needs for them? I think they will. Uh, and I'm really excited to see who falls. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We Really appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truthfully awesome and we love every single one of you in the description down below you find all of our social media platforms give us a like and a follow there also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like to cover send us an email at the sports bp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it but let us know what you guys think about a quality player that could fall to the las vegas raiders at 86